right, here's the video review for Mastermind Creations reformatted R06 Tigris, the last official member of Feral Rex, um, the analog for Rampage from the original Predacons. Um, and, and here he is, finally, in all his glory, his final finished version. Uh, and a lot has been changed from the original test shot. The, paw, the rear paws and legs are bigger. Um, there's a couple tightening issues. He's got the red faceplate with the yellow eyes. Um, I don't know why you can see that there. But he does have the yellow strip of eyes, yellow eye place with the red red faceplate. Um, they redesigned his head, although we saw that on the previous test shot. He still had the new head. Um, er everything's been tightened. A couple things. These these uh, paws actually uh, snap and tab into place up here on the arm as well. So there's been a lot of really nice, just, just tightening and, and fixing things uh, from the test shot. And all in all, it's pretty cool. They, they also changed a couple things about the abdomen, and we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, he does come with his handguns, which complete the Feral Rex uh, combiner cannon. He comes with these daggers, which as you can see, you can store here. I've got his other gun stored on his back. You can find places to stick them. There's places up here on his shoulders as well. Uh, so he comes with those weapons. He does also include... The cannon for Leo Ducks that forms the central core of uh, the combined mode gun, which we'll see here shortly. And the instruction, he comes with the comic and the, and the bio card and uh, all the instructions. And the instructions in the comic also show how to build the, uh, show you how to build the, uh, all, the, all the giant combined weapons, the uh, Oppenheimer sword and the fusion cannon and all that. Um, so yeah, it's the standard window box type packaging that we've seen before with the magnetic clasp and all that. No, nothing super exciting on the box that we haven't seen previously in the Feral, with the Feralcon members. So yeah, here he is. Here's Rampage. Um, like I said, you've pretty much seen him in robot mode now. He's got all the standard articulation points. Nice and clicky. Nice really ratchets at the knee and the hips. Uh, mostly you're going to need those for the combined mode. Uh, he's got ball joint feet. Go ahead and pull that gun off. Ball jointed neck. Uh, swivels at the arm, at the shoulder. He's got a bicep swivel, uh, dual hinged elbows. He does have a wrist swivel, although if he has a weapon in his hand, it will kind of get in the way there. But yeah, all in all, he's pretty. He's, pretty, he's, pretty, he's got a waist swivel. He's got a couple different waist swivels here, uh, both right up here at the top of the orange waist part and on the red part right at the bottom. So you've got a couple different ways of rotating him there. His dino head, his uh, panther head, is on a ball joint as well, although it just sits there on the chest in robot mode. Now one of the things that they did change was he no longer has, uh, we'll go ahead and start transforming him into his leopard mode. I'm doing it, or le leopard panther, I'm not sure. But uh, I'm doing it this way because it's easier to go from this into the animal mode into the combined mode for Feral Rex, which is gonna, how we're going to finish things up. So take all his weapons off here. And, uh, and you'll notice here in the, uh, lift all this up, lift this uh, chest panel up. And instead of the connector port that was originally here, there's now a hidden little ab panel. And inside that ab panel is a little bomb, uh, which he uses in the comic. Uh, which is a very minor spoiler alert. It's not a huge, uh, you know, you're not, I'm not like blowing your mind with the plot here, but it's just a little bomb. Uh, if you ordered from PSX, apparently they had a uh, chrome version of this. But it really is just a little tiny plastic square. It's nothing to... Uh, get super excited about because I mean even if you got the chrome version then you'd have two of them and uh, one would not fit so yeah so that hides right in there so I bring this down uh, I like to tilt his head up bring these up actually I like to rotate his head around like this because this is going to come down over his head and rotate that around and then you kind of got his robot head hiding, sitting behind his, uh, that way you don't see his face sticking out really underneath here. And it's kind of got his robot head sitting behind his panther head so he can see where he's going. <laughs> Which I know is a little silly, but whatever. And then we'll come down here. And like I said, these were very loose on the test shot. They actually tab in. There's a couple of tabs here that actually holds these in place in robot mode, which is really nice, or in either mode. So snap those in place, bring them down. Now his shoulders here on his uh, leopard have a little L hinge. you got to kind of push them down and slide them back uh, here for his uh, leopard mode. Come on. And my right one is a little problematic here. There's a little slide. Come on, why aren't you, why aren't you working for me?
see if I can't get this off camera here. Come on, you worked just fine earlier. Oh, maybe it's because I already, maybe you're, are you already pushed back? No, you're not. Yeah, you saw how this one just slid back. And this one is mostly there, but needs to slide back just a little more. You can see it's a little off, and I don't know why it's not cooperating. Oh, maybe that is as far back as that one gets. Oh, I guess that is about right. I was working for nothing there. Bring these back. Now his tail is actually on his uh, left robot leg. And it just, it, when, it, when, it's, when it's locked up in torso mode, there's little tabs on either side that lock it in place. Uh, you want to make sure to lift that up before you lock the legs together for animal mode, which we'll go ahead and do. Open these up. Right here. The feet flip over and around like that. While those are open, actually, I want to leave those open a little bit so these can stay open because you want to take these uh, these hip panels, which were there before, rotate them around and plug them in like that. And then rotate this whole assembly up like that, and then rotate the whole assembly around so these are now on top. And then this piece comes. Actually, you want to fold after that. You want to fold these in uh, fold them in like that so they complete. But before you fold the feet down, you want to fold these knee panels up and around, and they tab in right there. And then these come down and tab onto these tabs over the top of that. And that's going to hide under there. Like the, the waist, again, depending on how you want the waist to bend, uh, that, that, the, the waist bend is uh, the ab crunch is there in this middle orange piece. So whichever way you have that facing is, is which way his body's going to bend. So if you want it to bend kind of arch like that, uh, you want to flip it so you can see the black piece here in the back. And then rotate these back around. And then the feet, actually, you want you, to you unplug them. There's a peg here, and then a little peg up here that allows us to rotate. So you unpeg them down here from the leg. And then you got to kind of pull out to get them up there. And then uh, flip up these little, this panel right here flips up. And then the whole knee rotates out and around like this. And then... Uh, at least it should. And then, uh, I, there we go. You want to make sure these paws are folded just right. Man, I just did all this practicing for this video review, and now, of course, it's being a pain. So there you go. Get that out, and then fold that back in. And that kind of fills in the gap here at the back of the leg. Then the paw rotates around like that. So you lift that up. Kind of getting a grip on this is a bit of a pain. You just want to get that so it rotates out. There you go. See, that one was very easy. I don't know why the other one was such a pain. Rotate that. Rotate this paw around. Pull this back in. Got to fold in this hand over here. And again, you can position him however you see fit to have your cat stand. This may not be an official stance for this animal, but uh, just to give you an idea of what he looks like there. Uh, there he is. And moving on to his limo. No, no, actually, before we move on, I want to make sure this is all tabbed together. And, and you've got like a lot of decent posability options here as well. He's got uh, he's got a, a hinge on his leg here, um, as well as a rotational joint uh, joint here, here, and a ball joint at the paw. Uh, you got a hinge here on the arm, the double hinge elbow, which is still right there. It's actually a little stiff there, um, and then just a hinge at this paw. The, the waist, like I was explaining earlier, and his head's on a ball joint so he can kind of look around, although it is blocked a little bit by the wide, kind of rough around his face. So yeah, the weapons you can store on him, you want to put the, the knives on here and the guns back here, there are places to, to do that. 
plug it. Well, actually, that's too loose. Um, huh, I guess there aren't as many spots to store weapons on him as I thought. I guess you could still, you'd still keep the guns under here if you wanted. Plug the guns in there next to his port. Doesn't look great, but uh, then you still store the weapons here on his uh, on his shoulders if you so choose. You don't have to choose that at all because that's really not the best idea. But but you get the idea. That's uh, that's how that all works. And then from there we go into, of course, his limb mode, which is not too far off from his animal mode. First things first, uh, split these legs down here, uh, and then just fold this tail up. Uh, and again, there's a little nub on each side of these legs, so when you fold this up and snap these together, it locks that in place. It's not going to come... I mean, it's a pretty tight joint down here anyway, and in the middle, but that locks it in place. It's not going to come loose on you right there. Fold the legs back up. So you flip this up. I'll go ahead and rotate the paw around like that, and push it in, and then rotate it up and around. See, it comes out right there. And then fold this down tab it back in, and then rotate it up this way so that this tab sits in there, and then that tab plugs in like that. Same thing over here. Flip this up, rotate the paw around, fold it up into, kind of point it up a little bit, fold it up into the body, rotate it up in, plug it in, plug it in there, plug it in right there, and then you've got the lower body put together. At this point, again, when, probably when you open this up to fold the tail in, you can take the uh, Feral Rex fist and snap it in between there just like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now he's almost there in arm mode. Uh, rotate this joint kind of around this way. That'll, that'll give him his elbow joint. Rotate his fist around. Although, again, you can rotate this part independently. So you kind of want to have this part up because uh, if you put the cannon on, this, is the, this will be the outer. The, the cannon can peg into here just like it can on uh, Talon. And since you, some people want to have the uh, gray Talons on Talon facing the other way and have him hold the sword in that hand, you can do that. You can easily attach the cannon right here onto, uh, onto uh, Tigris as well. Bring this down. Rotate his head out. Now the robot head is kind of visible. What I do here is I, I rotate it around so it's facing in, like that, and then just fold it up kind of against that uh, back behind the uh, panther head, and that hides it. It's not super hidden, but uh, it, it's at least invisible. You're not seeing a face sticking out other than the panther head or the, the whatever jaguar, whatever he is, uh, sticking out the side. Now this rotates up again. That sliding hinge we had before. Yeah, you want to lift it up and forward. So when this folds up on this double hinge and then this hinge right here, there's a couple tabs here on his forearm that are going to peg in right under here. So you fold that up like that. Uh, you can do whatever you want with this paw. But there's also a little tab on the inside of the arm. That, and this tab's in pretty tightly. You want to push that in. There's a tab on the inside of the arm here, right here. Oh, you can see that. That's going to tab into this slot right here on the side of the body. So you know you've got it all lined up right when that tab meets up. See, this should be up a little higher. There we go. Nope, come on. And again, this, the L sliding bar on this side is being a pain in my patoot. Come on. I've had it in there. Anyway, let's go ahead and try this side. Bring this there, and then once it's all the way down, the L slot should let it slide forward. You can kind of see that. There we go. You heard that click into place. I'll plug this in. Come on. And then that tab should fit right in there. Oh, that's, that's okay. It's not, that's the problem. Is it's not, it's not tabbed in here all the way. You got to make sure it's tabbed in all here all the way for that to fit. Yeah, and see, and then that tab goes. I don't know how well you can see it in there, but the tab goes right into the side of the body. And then these, you can, these are kind of fold up like this. You can fold these wherever you want. I like to fold them up like that. Let's see if I 
can't, again, get this to slide properly. There we go. Get it off camera and it goes right into place. Stupid finicky toy. <laughs> they always seem to do that. And this goes, yeah, and then that plugs right into there. Oh, come on, peg in. There we go. Pegs right in. And there you go. The other one I had wasn't that hard to do. It's, like I said, this, this side is very easy to get to slide in place. This one just has, I don't know if there's, I may have to take it apart and check. There, there just has some sort of flash or something in the corner of this that's keeping it from connecting properly. But there you have the arm mode. There's the port you can see which is going to connect to Ferrorex. At the shoulder, uh, the hand here, which can hold the Oppenheimer sword or any of the other weapons and stuff like that. So let's bring the big guy in. Let's go ahead and I'm going to have to back this up a little bit here because he's a big mamma jamma. Lift this up. Wow, he still doesn't fit. Okay. See if we can get there. We go. Get him in here. Get him in focus. I can't check the focus here while I'm doing it. Well, hopefully that's close enough. Good enough for government work. All right, and then this, again, this connector port just plugs right here onto his arm. Just like that. Flip on the LED, and boom. There you go. There's a completed Feral Rex, all ready to wreck some stuff. And then he's got, as you can see, here's the combined mode cannon on one arm over here made up of all their gun weapons. And of course you have the Oppenheimer sword made up of all of their individual weapons, which you can hold in the hand right here. Take it in, wrap his fist around it. There you go. And he's pretty good about holding it. Get it out of his face there. And just to give you an idea, it's a, it's a very ginormous sword. Granted, some of that, it's actually, like, if, you, if, you, if I turn him, he's, he's actually, it's actually going more forward than, than up and down. We can get him to stand up a little straighter. There we go. Um, so, yeah. There is the completed Feral Rex. Now, granted, there is Fella Saber coming, uh, the optional sixth member, which can be an arm. Uh, he's basically the same mold as Tigress with a different head and, uh, in both modes um, and some minor detailing changes. So you can, you can have symmetrical arms. He's more yellow, so he'll kind of match offset uh, Fortis. And then you can put uh, Talon on the back as a backpack. Now the other little surprise that comes with Tigris uh, that everybody gets, the whole first shipment I believe includes this for free, is the completion kit. And the completion kit comes with this little piece, gold piece right here, which uh, uses these slots on his waist armor to plug right in. So if you were concerned about paint, not, there being no paint there, whatever, it, you don't have to remove that for transformation for Tigris or anything. That's just uh, that's just a little extra piece to fill in that that gold part. You can use it or not. It also comes with three sets of these arm fillers, and uh, these go on Bovis, Fortis, and Talon. I believe the bombs go to Talon, uh, these cannons go to Fortis, and the blades go to Bovis. And they're separate pieces. Each piece is one of these little arm filler pieces that fits inside the hollow forearms and then the unique weapon for each character. You can swap them around. Uh, some people have said they're loose in some and they fit better than the other um, and that really just seems to be kind of an individual quality control thing. You can also, if you want, uh, use these pieces since they have these the standard peg holes, you can peg them on like in here so you can give Fortis some cannons on his leg like this. They store in Feral Rex mode. Just use the uh, empty ports where their arms, where their shoulders assemblies peg in. Um, and you can see, let me see if I can get this. Uh, there, there's the, uh, the cannon. Oh, okay, that fell off, but there's the cannon there on Fortis's leg. It just pegs right into that hole. Come here, you. Uh, same with the blades on Bovis. You can plug them in. Just right there for storage, gives them some kind of sharp upper calves. Uh, and these rotate while they're plugged in, so 
when they're in his arm if you want to flip them up for storage or all that. And then the dive bombs bombs you can stick you can put them in the place of his arm cannons in bird mode so he actually has his bombs. Uh, you can store them wherever. Uh, they, they will actually fit. Uh, there's all sorts of places on here on the backpack they can go. They can go in here on the sides of the backpack. There's peg holes right there. They can go up here on the wings if you want. Uh, they, they don't peg super deep in the wings. Those are shallow peg holes. They're a little deeper here. If you plug them in here, they, they stay a lot better. Uh, but you can store all of these uh, in Feral Rex mode as well, which is nice. So yeah, there he is. There is the completed Feral Rex standing mighty and tall and looking pretty cool. Uh, it's nice to have him all officially completed in his final final form there. Like, And I have to say, like, I wasn't sure about Fellow Saber at first. And uh, now that I've uh, gotten to mess with him at TFCon and I had him on as an arm, I had him in the full six-figure configuration, uh, it really is pretty impressive. So, like, when Fellow Saber gets here, I may actually move uh, Talon to the back and put Fellow Saber on there. But if you choose not to get Fellow Saber, you're not miss you know, I mean, you're missing some weight. Um, but you've got a very solid, very nice Predaking here in Feral Rex. Um, and d definitely something to look forward to. And looks really impressive on the shelf. And this is a, this is in his short mode. You can extend his legs... Um, to two more different legs to make him a little taller. Like the tallest setting, like I've never really, never really cared for. I think it makes his legs look a little too thin. Like I love this because it, he looks beefy and stocky, like the old G1 toy. Um, but there are some optional settings on his legs, uh, which we've seen before. Let me see if I can't get him up to like a middle setting here. Okay, well that's tallest. Oh, nice pop. Boom, it's off the leg. So there's the tallest setting. And the tallest setting is a little less stable, uh, or at least takes a little bit more finagling to get him to stand stably just because of the extra height. Uh, there we go. But uh, you can see you just kind of raised him off the camera. But again, you can see, you see what I'm talking about where the legs look a little thin. There's a halfway point that uh, in between here. And that, one, that one's kind of hard to hit and lock into place. Uh, all put together, but there's the midway point right there. And you see that gives him a little bit of extra height uh, over the stocky short mode. Um, and, and, and that looks good. I, I think medium setting is really the sweet spot for this guy. And, that, and he was kind of designed around that medium setting. So, I uh, hope this focuses right. Like I said, I'm still learning this new camera, so bear with me. I'm, I'm trying to improve with each video, so hopefully this will look a little better than Sideswipe. And whatever I shoot next will look a little better than that. Because uh, I just got this brand new camera. So yeah, but there he is. The completed Feral Rex. Um, he's very cool. Um, I definitely... like he, He's awesome on the shelf. I just love having him on the shelf. Um, I may do a pictorial review of him soonish. But, uh, but yeah, really impressive. Nice to have him complete uh, with the addition of Tigris. There you go.